Hello all, welcome to part 30 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to parameterize the test methods with array parameter. So let's get started. This session is a continuation of the previous sessions where I have explained about the TestNG parameterization concept where one of the test method, which is annotated with at the rate test annotation, receives the data from the data provider method in the form of multiple parameters like string email, string password. But instead of using that string email, string password, can I use an array parameter in place of that is the main thing about this session. Let me practically demonstrate this for you so that things will be more clear for you. OK, so parameterizing the test method using array parameter practical demonstration. Let me directly jump onto the practical code so that you will understand what is this array parameter and what it is actually replacing in the previous things. OK, so if you see here, guys, the code. OK, here we have the data provider method, which is going to supply the data to this particular test method because we connected the data provider with uh, this. You see the name of the data provider is mentioned as a value to this data provider attribute of this test method. So there are three sets of data. First set of data second set of data and third set of data. But how this uh, test method is parameterized using TestNG by providing two parameters. Why we have provided two parameters here? First parameter represents the first value in the, that is email. This email as part of the first set of data, okay? This array will be sent to this uh, test method as part of the first, first time when the test method is called, this first set of data will be sent to this uh, method and this email address will go into the email feed email uh, email uh, parameter and this password will go into the password parameter and after the execution is done now second set of data will be passed to this test method where email address will go into the email and password will go into the password now third set of data after the second test is uh, second time the test is executed email will go into third set of data email will go into the email and password will go into the password that's fine here a limited amount of data is there for every set only two two uh, two data is there okay for every set of data there are only two values that need to be passed what if there are a good number of values like uh, 10 values is it a good idea to create that many number of parameters here like string email string password string something uh, int something like that can you create that many number of parameters is that a good idea no right so there is a way if you have a large list of okay here in this example there is no large list of every set of data has two two data okay to uh, count of data is two in every set of data every time the test method is called a count of two of data is being passed but if the count of this data for every set of data is 10 or more than 10 for example imagine here you have to create 10 parameters but in that kind of situations okay normal situations you can go with this approach guys you can if there are less number of uh, count of data in the each set of data that is being passed to the test method you can go with this approach of parameterizing the uh, this test method with the individual parameters that's fine but if you get a situation in real time where you are passing more sets of more more, uh, more count of data in a single set of data that is being called uh, when it is being called the test method in that case this is not a good approach okay in that case here instead of creating multiple parameters like that you just create here what is being passed for every iteration for a data provider is passing a single dimensional array okay a single dimensional array for a, for every test method calling in second uh, after the first set of data is called another single dimensional array is being passed to this uh, as a data to this test method then third single dimensional array. And so here simply you can understand that single dimensional string str if you say it is also fine. You don't have to give so many number of parameters. If this uh, for every set of uh, every set of data there are multi good number of count of data is there then no need to create multiple parameters for that simply create a string array here because you are passing the string data here string array and that's all. You just copy this str and in place of the email you say str of zero array at the index zero that means 
this first data will be password. This will be given 0th index. This is the first index in the array. Here password is at the available at str1. If you have 10, 10 count of data password as part of this data set, in that case, str of 0, str of 1, str of 2, parameter is only one, single array parameter. But here, you can use str of 0, str of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like that, okay? If you have 10 count of data in this data set, you understood when we have to use string array, okay? This is one of the things you have to understand, guys. You don't have to give individual parameters always. There may be some situations where the count of the data in this uh, single set of data that is being passed by the data provided to the test method may be more. In that case, you cannot create that many number of parameters to receive the data from the data provider method. Simply, you can create a string the kind of array. It can be object array, it can be string array, it can be integer array, whatever the array. And then use array elements like this wherever needed. str of zero will contain the email in this str and str one will contain a password and still this is going to work. Okay, this is another way of parameterizing the test method with array rather than creating individual parameters for receiving the data. But use it only when it is needed. When you have more count of data in a single set of data that is being passed to the test method, this approach is beneficial. Okay, but not always. So it's taking time to load. This demo application, guys, I can hit enter, but in real time, don't hit enter. So whenever uh, the application page is taking time, I'm just pressing enter just to save the time of your execution. But in real time, you should not be doing this. Sometimes it will load fast, but sometimes uh, it will take time, guys. There's no other way of manually intervening here in, in this case of demonstration. You see, all the three tests got passed and uh, okay. And you can see here, verify login, verify login, verify login. Even after accepting the data in the form of string array, Still, the verify login test method got executed three times for every time it passed. str of zero is email, str of one is password. str of zero is email, str of one is password. str of zero is email, str of one is password. Okay, so this is what I wanted to demonstrate, guys. Okay, parameterizing the test method with array parameter. But the better way here in this case, if you if you ask me, what is the best way of uh, parameterizing means? I will not take the array, guys. Okay, I'll take. Uh, the old format only that is better because the count of uh, uh, data in every set of data that is being passed to the test method is only two why to go with the array in this case okay so better go with that email and password system only for, okay so only required you just go with that array approach okay otherwise i'm changing it back i'm changing the code back okay fine so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another test in the topic for you till then see you bye bye